State's attorney on that case. Sean Tyler and his brother Reginald Henderson have been out of prison for three years now, but still have a lot of catching up to do. Both spent the better part of their lives in prison, serving about a quarter of a century for a crime they had nothing to do with. They say they were tortured into confessions for murder by officers trained by former police commander John Burge. For somebody to walk in at 17, I left out the back door on a stretcher. Back of the Amalam straight to the emergency room. Tyler says police retaliated against him because he testified about police corruption in an earlier case. Henderson says police also tortured him in an effort to get his brother. I sat in prison for 26 years and nine months for for the purpose of them trying to find my brother. There's a lot of things you can complain about, but the reality is, is that, uh, I mean, what can you do about it? You know what I mean? You just gotta keep moving. Society assists in this conspiracy to extort. And he keeps moving. Henderson earned a college degree behind bars and now performs his spoken word poetry at open mic nights. Sean wrote several books he hopes to publish while behind bars, and he also designed a clothing line. Their lawyer is also working on getting them a certificate of innocence, which would expunge their records, though it will never give them back the years they've lost. I don't know how to characterize it, just a, a tragedy for everyone, the victim, Sean, his brother, everyone. The men say every day since they've been released is difficult. While they dreamed for years about their freedom, the transition to life on the outside has not been easy. Well, I struggle every day. The city has paid out well over $100 million to exonerated former prisoners who were tortured into confessions by John Burge and his associates. Tyler and Henderson say they're not concerned about that. They're focused on making the most of the time they have left on this earth.